Hello, everybody. We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. It's been like, what, three days since I've streamed? I think I went three days without streaming, so technically I think it's like four days since the last stream. But we're back. I just needed a little bit of a break to relax with the, how hard we've been going with all the content for literally years at this time. I don't think I've taken too many breaks, so I felt that it was time that I took like a few days off of streaming and just did like some video stuff in those uh, few days. But we're back. We're back. And we're now 1,042 kills into this grind. I killed a few hundred during these last few days, and yeah, no great one. But we do have a couple level 9s on the map, so we're going to take those out today. Hope everybody's doing amazing. Hey, Logan. Hey, Andrea. Tyran, Prodigal Deer. We got Gavin. Um, National Knee, we got Evil's Corp, we got Gaming and Fishing with Bryson, Blake, Mr. Call of the Wild, Max Thunder, Levi, A-Rod, Fake Fisherman, we got The Hunter, we got Supreme Content, Mr. Brown, Lep Boy. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? That's a 7. That is a level 7. Beautiful. And if you guys watched the uh, Super Rare Bear video, you'll probably remember that I said that we've managed the map down a bit more. I've got two new level 4s and uh, a few new level 5s on the map at uh, some of the zones that we don't hunt. And I shot a couple of the like 7s and 8s and got them down to be level 6s and 5s, so things are working out a lot better now. We're getting a diamond like every 30 kills on average. And I can imagine that's only going to go up over time because that's for the entire grind and it's only been the last like few hundred that I've had it managed more. And it's bumped us up from a diamond every 40 kills to diamond every 30 kills. So I imagine we'll be getting it like every 20 when all is said and done. But it's uh, looking a lot better. It's looking really good. Do I have any advice for Whitetail? I've got entire guides focused on Whitetail, so I'd recommend checking that out if you haven't. It'll be in the guides playlist, as well as in the uh, herd management playlist. How many bears do you kill per stream on average? Uh, depends. We get about like 50 to 60 bears per hour. Sometimes a little bit more. And I usually stream like four hours of bears, like three or four hours. This should be a nine. Yeah, this is one of the nines. Where's the other nine? Definitely not there. You know what? I think I got an idea. Let's just uh, shoot these two. And then we'll take both of the nines next run. Whenever I can see uh, both of them. Because we've got two of them on the map. But only one of them showed up. Uh, that's a YouTube problem, Hudson. Refresh your stream and it should be good. Should be good if you refresh. No, we're not going to do Angler tonight. It's like what? This is Monday. Angler will be a Tuesday thing. Now that the update has happened already, right? We uh, aren't going to be doing it every single day. No, a lot has happened since I was doing the one bear method, uh, Kyle. I managed down more of the map, so I don't need to do the one bear method anymore. We might mess around with it a little bit more, though. Like, we'll kind of bounce between different things, just see what works, you know? Right now, we're uh, stacking up a couple of nines, and then when we get them both in the same spot, at the same time, we'll shoot them. There's a six there. Got him. Cuz when you can get double lung, a uh, 338 will kill them quicker, Martin. For a moose, I will always use the 300 because you can't get double lung on moose no matter what. So it's best to use the gun that gets the best penetration for hard shots. So that's why I use 300 on stuff like moose. But for bears, 338 will kill them quicker because it gets double lung. You know, what's also required, though, is that I can actually aim, but that's... <laughs> that never happens. 
Necro doesn't know how to aim. Hey, Lone Wolf, how's it going, man? You didn't miss too much. Have I made a guide video for bear yet? Yes, check out the super rare bear video from a few days ago. Actually, it's from yesterday, I believe. It is included in that. Nice, Cooper, nice. Hopefully that'll work out for you. These bears are like very different from person to person, so hopefully it'll work out well for you. Like, Ayabai has been grinding bears, and he's got some super consistent bears in places where they're not consistent for me. Mrs. Crow with the 33 months. Holy! That's a long time. That is a long time as a member. No worries, Mr. Brown. Thank you for dropping in. I think they're cool, uh, RS. I think they're cool. Why would that be bad, Hunting Gods? I w that wouldn't be bad. That's just great luck. That's just phenomenal luck, man. Alright, so we got 997. So now that both of these are here, let's take down these two nines that I've been stacking. I stacked these up yesterday and wanted to save them for the stream, so there we go. Boom. Two level nines down. Are you going to be a diamond? Oh, yes, it is. Max weight, 2396. Holy. You think one will troll A-Rod? Maybe. Nope, they both made it. Let's go. Love to see it. Back-to-back -back diamonds on the bear grind. Also, see if I can find it. Hunting log, latest harvest. There's the cinnamon bear from today's video, right there. Or from today's YouTube short, I should say. It's not really a video, it's a YouTube short. But you know what I mean. Same thing, pretty much. Gonna real quickly check a couple of the zones that I, uh... I've been managing down, see if there's anything decent level here. Because obviously if a 7 or an 8 or something shows up, we want to take it down. So I think while we're waiting for bears to respawn at our main two lakes today, we're going to be checking some of the other zones to make sure we don't have any shootables that bounced over. Or a 10. If I get a 10 at one of these other lakes, I will be blown away. It'll blow my mind. I think there's a 4 here, if I'm not mistaken. I think what just spooked is a 4. Yeah, it's a 4. Okay. That's what I thought, but I wasn't 100% sure. Nice, Dalton. That super rare was crazy? I know, right? Oh, that's a six. We need him down. Beautiful. You'll have to see it. Are there any indications of a great one coming? Not consistently, no. Um, you do you do sometimes see a sign, but it's rare, like most of the time that just happens. The only thing I've noticed that indicates any potential great one is occasionally you'll notice that when a great one spawns, like all your herds just get really inconsistent and don't show up, show up to their zones. We've had this happen multiple times on the, uh, 
what's it called? The Fallow Grind and the Moose Grind. Both, uh, both those grinds have it very consistently where, like, a couple runs before the Great One shows up, like, you'll have maybe two runs in a row where, like, some of your herds just don't show up to their zones. Or you may have it to where only the herd that the Great One is in doesn't show up for a few runs. It's really weird the way it happens. Nobody knows why it does that either. And it doesn't happen every time, but... That's the only thing that I can think of that I would say is a, is like somewhat of a sign. But keep in mind, it's not a for sure thing. But it's the closest thing we have to a sign. As far as I can tell, at least. Is there any rarest great one or all they are they all equal? Uh the bear is definitely the rarest. You don't see a lot of people getting the bear. And that's just because it's really tough to hunt them. So I don't even know if that's a matter of them being rare. I think it's just a matter of them being difficult to hunt. But I would say the rare is the bear is definitely the rarest. I call it the rare. The rare. The bears definitely seem to be the toughest. Hey, Parker, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. What gun am I using? 338 bolt action from the Hunter Power Pack. I believe it's called the Sarugi. Do a celebration when you hit 5k dimes. Oof, we got a long way to go for that, but potentially. I mean, I think what I'm going to do is every time we hit like a milestone, like every 500 diamonds, I'll do a YouTube short that's like first diamond versus 3,500th or whatever, you know? That seems to be the way that I can best do it. At least it's the way I like doing it. Mythical and seven. And a mythical, holy. Mythical, mythical seven. Love to see it. I need them all to stop because if they're moving when I shoot like one of the others, they'll spook faster. Okay, two of them have stopped, so we can just boop. Oh, we got the clutch neck shot. <laughs> that was wild. Seven. Mythical and another mythical. Yeah, we are at 699 members. That's actually kind of crazy. We are one off of 700. Jeez, man. That is wild. Oh, yeah. Tons of massive bears in that area. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. Hoping we can get some of that I buy premiums luck soon. He he had like six great one bears in 1800 kills or something. Absolutely crazy. Hey, Rod, thank you for the gifted. Congrats to Trevor for receiving that gifted. Enjoy, man. Be sure to say thank you to A Rod. And once again, thank you very much, A-Rod. Super generous of you. And now we're at the 700. Or when it updates, we will be at the 700. Crazy, dude. Crazy, bro. Thank you, Hudson. Hopefully we do.
Nothing there. What about down here? What gun am I using? 338 bolt action rifle. To be honest, I don't know if this guy would have respawned yet. We'll check over here though. Best map for the fallow grind? Tiabaroa for sure. Uh, Tiabaroa is a phenomenal map. It's just so freaking good for the grind. There's one of the fives. I've been leaving him. Because, like, he's close enough to a four. The, the remainders, it's okay if there's a few that aren't fours, you know. So I've just been leaving that five. Best map for Red Deer, also Tiabaroa. Tiabaroa is just that good. The freaking gold mine, man. It is an absolute gold mine. What size fallow should I keep on the map for HM? Uh, you want to keep like any of them that are going to score like below 150. So all the twos, all the ones, and then the really tiny threes as well. I don't know if you remember me, but I told you I had gotten a 239 and I would be so excited for Diamond Whitetail. Today I got my first Diamond Whitetail. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Congrats on your Diamond Whitetail. You love to see it, man. You love to see it. Mythical, Mythical 7. <laughs> Literally the same composition as last time. Mythical, Mythical 7. you love to see it. All the big males coming out. Mythical, mythical seven, yes. Oh, there's another bear. Small male. Ugh. Feels bad, man. Did it float? No. Where did it go? Oh, it's right there. I'm blind. It's right there. I'm sorry to hear that, Loxy. Happens to the best of us, though, man. We all mess up trophies from time to time. It's part of the game. <laughs> yeah, I run. <laughs> I still just find it funny how, like, you know, we, we don't typically say level 8s and level 9s. We call them, like, legendaries and mythicals. But, like, we never call the 7s a very hard. We call them a 7. Because saying that's a very hard bear is just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. Much better to say you've got a level 7 bear in front of you. <laughs> Awesome. I'm kind of curious how they came up with the uh, the names for each level. Like, what was the deciding factor in choosing each one of them? Ah, it's fine. Rustin, you don't have to be a member to be supporting the channel. Just watching the streams, liking the videos, watching the videos, commenting on them. Stuff like that is just as helpful, man. It's just as helpful. And believe it or not, this is probably, like, one of the most unknown things in terms of, like, if you're wanting to support your favorite creators. Just having the bell turned on and watching the video within the first 30 minutes of it being uploaded, that is, like, the most beneficial thing to a content creator that you could imagine. More people that watch it first 30 minutes, the more chances YouTube will share it with people more. So it actually is crazy, like, how helpful it really is. So don't feel bad about being a member, man. There's so many free ways that you can help out your favorite content creators. 
There's so, so many ways. Thank you, Mr. Call of the Wild. Best Whitetail map? My personal favorite is Layton, but a lot of people like Rev on Thule better. They're both pretty good in my opinion, but yeah, I just prefer... I just prefer Layton. No tracks here. Yeah, I don't think there was any more males over there. We could check here. I got a couple males that go there. Yeah, I guess it really depends. Like, um, there's drawbacks and positives to both Rev and Layton. Positive of Rev is low amounts of brush. The drawback is the fact that Whitetail are on like 80% of the map. Then if you take a look at Layton, you only have to search half of the map to find all your Whitetail. However, there's like a ton of brush. There's a ton of brush on Layton, so that's the drawback to Layton. But it is like quicker to find all your zones. So like each of each of those maps has their drawbacks and their positives. All right, nothing showing up there. Back we go. Yeah, I guess it just depends on what you enjoy, Blue. That's the great thing about it, right? Is like, there's a map for everybody. Uh, maps that some people don't like, there's going to be a lot of people that do like them. Like, a lot of people do not like Tiawaroa, but I love it. It's a top three map for me easily. But I know a ton of people that hate the map. Five, eight, seven... Five eight seven. Hey, hi, Def. How's it going, man? I hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing absolutely amazing. Just killed a mythical. Nice. Inside Out TV. Nice. What is Diamond for Fallow? I think it's $249.99. If I'm not mistaken. A little dusky bear action. So the other two bears must be at the other lake. Want to do HM for Moose, what should I keep? Keep level 2s and 1s, and then also keep 3s that look the same as the 2s. I think I remember you, uh, Austin. I think I remember you. That name does look familiar. Mythical again, and then a level 6. Nice, love to see it. I don't think I would ever post an uncut 60 minute trophy challenge, Milo. Because that would be the toughest video to keep it interesting. Like, 60 minutes uncut in a 60 minute trophy challenge, there'd be so much dead air where I'm not saying anything. I feel like that video would get very boring very fast, <laughs> unfortunately. Ah, uh, we should probably check that lake, like north of the one that we just checked. 
Easiest great one? Definitely the Fallow Deer, man. Fallow Deer on Tiawaroa? Easiest great one to get. Especially if you're managing them. If you're managing them, it should be a breeze. All right, no worries, Hide F. No worries. I already told you, uh, Dylan. If you go back like two minutes in the stream, you'll hear it. You're guessing 10k bear? Don't say that. Don't don't wish a 10k bear on me. Oh gosh. No. I mean, if it takes over 5,000 for this great one, I probably will go to something else for our 50th. Because there's no way we get two bear grinds in a row that are over 5k, right? Like, there, there's just no way. If we do, something's wrong with my map. <laughs> but yeah, if it takes over, if we break 5k on this, uh, on this grind, we're definitely going to go to Moose to get our 50th great one of all time. That'd be just too much to wait through. It would just be too much, man. MK bears plus a spine. Oh gosh. Now you're just really wishing all the terrible luck on me. How dare you? How dare you? How do I get a diamond grizzly? Uh, just hunt grizzly bear and shoot the males repeatedly until a nine shows up. Or you can go to Yukon Multiplayer and find servers that are during bear time and then go to all the places bears can be. Gosh, Johnny. <laughs> no. I would never. I would never do that. What do you mean? Gotta see where this other bear respawn went. You're guessing two and a half thousand? I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with 2.5k. It's like, I would love an eye by level grind. Oh, this is our bear. This 100% is our new bear. Yep, that's our new bear. This is where the respawn went. Do I have a stand up here? I don't. There we go. So this bear, we're just going to be shooting him until he either turns into a four or... I mean, that's really all there is. We're going to keep shooting him until he turns into a four or below. And if he never does, then I guess he's a permanent uh, shootable bear. But he consistently just comes back to, like, one of these lakes here, which is really nice. Very, very nice. What great one should you go for next? How about a moose, uh, Slacks? The moose are a lot of fun. I like them. We got 10 minutes before the uh, time is up for drink time. So we'll have to reset again soon. It would, A Rod, it would. Thank you, Hudson. I hope you have a good day, man. Hope you have a good day. Six. Eight. I don't see the one that is great. <laughs> I 
See, it's a great one. Could you imagine? Like, right as I say, I don't see the one that's great. If one showed up, that would just be perfect. It'd be so amazing. We're getting so many mythicals now, though. Love to see it. Love to see it. It's right there. Let's do a quick reset. Boom. How many kills on average for a red deer grind at 2,500? Still no luck. Um, my red deer grinds took 3,000, 3,000, 6,000, 6,700, 820, I believe, and then like 180. On average, they seem to be about two to 3,000. Like you're still within the range of a normal grind. Red deer can just be tough. Seven. Legendary. Let's go. I might use the 300 because of how far this one is. Nice. We nailed him. Oh, there's another one. We have two sevens. <laughs> Nice. Love to see it. Let's hope it makes it, man. Let's hope it makes it. Come on, little bear. It's a diamond. 2304. That's the third diamond today. I'd say our herd management is definitely a lot better than it was. I know, right? It's crazy. Like, that little, like, stand-up glitch makes them act so weird. What is the average kill count for Whitetail? Between 1,000 and 2,000 from what I've seen. Big Boy 7. Calling a great one? Maybe. We can hope, man. Got a dusky seven there. Let's see if we got any bears up here. Um, I'd say go whatever you're feeling like going with, uh, fishing gamer. If you feel like uh, it's the right moves to stack a great one, then do it. If you uh, don't want to, then you don't have to, you know? I always feel like you should just do whatever you enjoy the most. Whatever you're going to have the most fun with is what you should do. I think so, Dark Lord. I couldn't see two grinds being 8,000 in a row. That would just be absurd. That would just be ridiculous. I mean, it's possible, but... I don't think it'll happen. There's that four that I've got here. This is one of the fours that I stacked when I was grinding off uh, stream the other day. Are the dimes all from random and grind or just from grinds? Like uh, at the top of the screen or what? If you're talking about my diamond counter at the top right of the screen, that's all diamonds I've ever killed of all time. But yeah, that's everything. That's not just grinds. Most of it is from grinds though, because most of my diamonds have been from grinding. I think I've got about 600, maybe 700 diamonds that are not from great one grinds. But it's not a ton compared to, like, the grinding ones. Is it 100% accurate? Oh, there, no, there's no way to make it 100% accurate. Because of how borked the codex has been, like, when I first created it, there's probably some inaccuracies just because the codex isn't 100% accurate because of how many bugs and glitches have happened throughout the years. But uh, it's it's fairly accurate. And, of course, like, if I mess up a diamond, I still count it on the diamond counter because it's still a, um, it's still technically a diamond scoring animal. So I'm sure there's probably, like, it's probably inaccurate by 50, give or take. But, uh, I got it as accurate as I could. 
It's sure more accurate than what the codex says, that's for sure. Codex sometimes doesn't even count stuff. I guess lots of people that their great ones don't even get counted in the codex. Sometimes their diamonds don't get counted either. Alright, I guess they haven't had enough time to respawn. Problem is, this guy's not at his zone yet, so... Feels bad. Whiffs, thank you for the super sticker, man. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing phenomenal. Hope you're having a great day. Um, I mean, I've done something similar, High Def. Like, I, I've let you guys vote on polls to choose what I hunt for every hour. I've done that before, which is similar. I would take, like, the four most recommended species from the chat, and then I would put them in a poll and see which one won. We did a few streams like that. Pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, A-Rod. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Is a 273 Red Deer good? Um, I'm assuming that would be a great one, right? Yes, it is. That is indeed really good. Don't see any more males here. I should probably check down here. We haven't checked here in a bit. There could totally be one there. There used to be Twitch points. Dear man. Back to the days when we did Twitch. I'm sure one of these days we'll get back to Twitch, but... I don't know. It's just much easier to manage one channel versus managing a channel and a Twitch because, like, if I stream on Twitch and YouTube, I have to change over the stream key and the stream URL and the type of stream I'm doing in Streamlabs every single time I go live. And then if I forget to do it, I'll go live on the wrong platform. That's why I really don't do it that much. And because it's, like, tax things, you know, then it's, like, I have to take the earnings from both and, like, report them both. I'll have two different tax forms. It's, like... It's just, and like all the donations on Twitch, I have to keep track of all that myself and like tax it properly or else, uh, or else I'd be in trouble because they don't automatically take out of that. Like, uh, they don't automatically calculate it for Twitch donations like they do with YouTube super chats. Super chats on YouTube go straight into your like monthly revenue. So it's just, it's, it's complicated. Still haven't spawned a great one fallow. It's kind of annoying. It happens, man. We all have some rough grinds here and there. I mean, my bear, my first bear grind was 8,300, so it happens, you know? Every once in a while, you get a bad grind that just takes forever and makes you want to give up on it, but just remember that eventually you'll get that great one. Eventually, it will show up. You must not have heard what I was saying, uh, Prodigal. You have to, like, uh, I was saying you have to calculate everything yourself when you're doing it, uh, on Twitch. And that's why I don't really stream on Twitch. That way I don't have to worry about it. There we go. That's one more bear down. Because, like, the first year that I was doing Twitch and YouTube at the same time, like, my gosh, it was just, it was so, uh, confusing, like, doing all of that. Took literally, like, I think it took me, like, six hours to do taxes the first, uh, first year as a content creator. Because, like, all the, all the different things that I had to remember and, like, calculate and report and stuff it was just oh my gosh it took like six hours to get our return done
No worries, Blake. No worries. Hope he gets some big boy five stars. How many kills? 1,072. 1,072 bear kills. Mythical. That looks like a bear's back, but I can't tell. There's something over there. <laughs> it's hiding. Uh, the only rare that I've got since that super rare was the rare you saw in today's YouTube short. A little level 5 cinnamon. Been getting lots of cinnamon recently. But, you know, nothing new there. Like, cinnamon is the most common, so it makes sense. Makes sense that we'd seed more of those. Hello? Nothing there. Um, a long time ago, Sean. Probably like back when I was like 14 or something. All right, I'll be right back, guys. I got to hit up the restroom real quick. I will be back like 30 seconds, minute, something like that.
All right, we're back. Would have been sooner, but I had to check on my daughter. She's taking her nap right now, so had to make sure she's doing fine. Wrong horn, eh? Wrong horn, eh? No worries, Jenkins. No worries. Would I rather keep all of my great ones or all of my super rares? Like if I had to pick one or the other? All of my great ones because they look cooler. I just feel like the great ones are so much variety. I'd rather I'd rather only keep my great ones if I had to pick. Because like super rares, they're really cool and they're more rare than great ones, right? But the great ones, just there's something about them. They just look mm -hmm. phenomenal. They have so much variety, and it's like, it's a crazy thing to see when a great one spawns. It's like, oh my gosh, that's a great one. There's just something about them, man. There's something about them. Do you have any blonde black bear? I've got a few of them, yeah. Hidden option ultra rare? Well, if I had an ultra rare, then maybe, but I don't. I wish I had an ultra rare, man. That'd be so cool. So that and I thought you got your great one. Yeah, we were just kind of like thinking of like a scenario, you know, where you can only choose one or the other. One bear there. What is an ultra rare again? It's like a great one with a rare fur type. like a melanistic or albino great one white tail or a fabled piebald great one white tail would be an ultra rare where did this guy go when we shot him there it is right there I say where is he little dusky feller Thank you, Brad. I appreciate that, man. Glad you enjoy, dude. Glad that you enjoy. Hopefully, A-Rod. I'd love that. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've seen Ten Fabled Bear. Hey, Nate, how's it going, man? Good to see ya. Nothing there. Yeah, I think it's time to main menu. Can you get an ultra rare great one? Yes, you can. It's only whitetail though. Only whitetail have them. So it's not like a super common thing to find. Only whitetail can get ultra rares and the chances are so microscopically tiny that only like 10 people have ever got them. Less than 10 people actually. And that's over the course of like years and people killing thousands of whitetail great ones. Ow, ow, ow. You stupid deer. I'm not even hunting you, but you're hunting me. What? Come on. Chill. Oh, man. They just love to attack me, dude.
<laughs> yeah, hey, Rod. How do you get the time to show from the menu on multiplayer? It's only on PC. Uh, yeah, Dark Lord, that was LC. LC got one of those at the release of Rancho. Mythical and a six. Imagine if somebody got back-to-back -back ultra rares. I would not believe them. I would not believe them. The odds of that happening are so low. Like, ridiculously low. One of the grinders in the community in the Discord, A-Rod. He's in the uh, official Discord a lot. Or he used to be. He's not in there as much nowadays, but he used to be in there a lot. Probably not, Parker. Probably not, because we're going we're gonna to do Tackle Tuesday tomorrow, so... Probably not going to do an angler stream today. But definitely tomorrow. Nothing there. They're being a little bit slow now. Nice, Ryder. Nice, dude. Nice, Cooper. Yeah, it takes a bit of time. It took me a while to, like, get all of my males and females where I wanted them. Why is it only show for PC? No clue. I'm assuming it's limitations on other consoles. That's a four. That's a five. Screw it. Let's leave these two. Let's leave these two for a little bit. We're going to leave them for a few runs and see what we get. No, I've never found a great one in multiplayer. I know somebody that has, though. Uh, Mel's Gaming got a whitetail great one in multiplayer, which is just insane. That is, like, incredible. Um, probably CL Smith. Probably. Usually they announce that type of stuff at like 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So like 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So like, um, it'll be announced in their Discord most likely. It's going to be in their Discord probably. So if you just watch their Discord, you should be able to tell immediately whenever they do it. Um, I don't believe so, Hydef. I don't think I've ever heard of that. I don't think so. At least it doesn't sound familiar. No, Jtron, the announcement is tomorrow for the release date. So they're just going to tell us when it releases tomorrow. I mean, obviously, Nate, if I found a great one in 60-minute trophy challenge, of course it would count. Sean, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing amazing, man. Hope you're doing absolutely phenomenal. Level six. Boop. How's it going? It's going great, dude. It's going great. Having a fun time, smoking some bears. We've already got three diamonds on the day, so it's going pretty good. Doing really good. Mid-size mail track there. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my god! And uh, nothing's releasing tomorrow. Just the announcement for Angler. 
They're announcing the release date tomorrow is what I'm saying. There's nothing releasing tomorrow. They're just announcing when it's releasing on console for uh, Call of the Wild the Angler. That should be the last one. Because we're leaving that four and five over there. Actually, maybe I should kill the five and just leave the four. That actually might be better. We're going to try that then. If I see that five, I'm going to pop him. That's him. Excuse me? I think that uh, last two did not count. Gosh, he's stopping and stuttering. You stupid bear. Oh my gosh, that is awful. My aiming and that tankiness. Stupid bear. He's going to make me get the ATV. He's making me get the ATV. I didn't want to do it, but I got to chase him down. We got to chase him down like this. That little freak of a bear. How dare you avoid my shots like that? A couple of those I felt should have hit too. Like the, the first three shots, all of those should have hit. The 300 shots after, eh, they were questionable. But like the, the 338 shots at the beginning, should have hit. 100%. Are you freaking kidding? I can't go up this. There we go. Finally. There we go. About time. One of them did hit? I guess he just didn't react to it. That's crazy. Where are red deer on Emerald Coast? That is one of the few things I have not hunted on Emerald Coast. I have not really paid attention to them that much. Nothing there. Oh, definitely, Caitlin. Definitely. Like uh, six million of them, actually. We, we've officially got more great ones than kills in the bear grind. Yep. Yep. Definitely. That's what we've done. Uh-huh. They're the same zones as fallow deer? Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense, then. What tracks are these? Definitely not bear. I'd say it's safe to say there's no male bear here. But I wonder where that male bear respawned. Hey, Khalid, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good. And hopefully I uh, pronounced your name properly. Nice, Mr. Call of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, that's the type of reaction you want when you get something crazy like that. that. That reminds me of me with my first bear. Like, my first bear, I was... I was gonna freak out. I, I was freaking out, to be honest. That's the five. When is Call of the Wild, the angler coming out on console? It's going to be sometime soon. We know that. They're going to announce it tomorrow. Bro definitely loves bears. You're right. I do. I like the bears. I just don't like how rude the Great One bear has been to me. The first took 8,300 and we're already 1,000 into the next one. Then I, I'm seeing like everybody else that's managing bears, getting their bears in like just a few hundred kills. And it's like, where's mine, man? Where's my bear luck? Where's my freaking bear luck? Bears don't like me, confirmed. I mean, I guess I can't say that. I got the super rare. 
I did get the super rare, so I guess the bears like me. They just like me differently. Oh. Yo, that's a new four. That's a new four. That means that bear that we were shoot that we're rotating through turned to a four. Because this bear was not here today before I started. Before I started the stream today, there was no bear here. Yeah, it's new. Let's go! We got another four. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we are we are managed to crap now. Holy. I'll have to go through some of the other parts of the map and see if there's maybe some that I've missed in the past as well. I think we've got most of them managed down though. Like, I think we do. No, Drawn, we're shooting like five now. However, we did just get a four at one of the lakes, so we're now rotating on four of them. What's my favorite diamond that I've killed? Favorite diamond I've killed is a impossible question to answer, to be honest. There's a lot of them that I like. There's a lot of diamonds I like. A lot of rares I like, a lot of great ones I like. It's always so tough to choose when I get asked that question. Because it's like, I like so many of them. I saw something moving around in here, I thought. Yeah, I think that's the outline of the back side of the bear. Reloading might help. Hey, Zachy, how's it going? <laughs> Hope you're doing good, Zachy. Yeah, there it is. We got him. Nice. Little mythical action. Yeah, I heard about that already, Zaki. Already heard about it. Why are my bears like this? I just want to know that. Like, Ibai has six Great One bears in like 1,800 kills. You've had four of them, and you're not even managing them, are you? Like, I don't even... You're not managing them, are you? From what I remember. But here I am. 9,300... Well, 9,400 kills now. And I've only got one. What did I do wrong? Well, what am I doing wrong to make these bears hate me? Ah, uh, there's an extra set of tracks here. Okay, it's not anything big. Crazy, bro. Crazy, man. Let's check out a couple of lakes I haven't been to in a while. And see if there's any smokable bears. Like, we'll check this lake. I never go here, so we'll see. Poor bears last week. Jeez, freaking zombie, man. He's insane with the bears. That's like Scarecrow Fallow Deer level. Man, I want to go back to the uh, Fallow at some point just because we were popping Fallow like crazy. But at the same time, it's like, eh, I want another bear. Aggressive level three. That's a gray, right? I think. I think that's a gray. Three and four. Yeah, I don't see anything crazy there. They do, Zacky. They do. Mine, for some reason, are not as consistent as uh, everybody else's are. Like these top lakes, they never show up that fast for me. Like for me, it's only the two that I do. What are you talking about, Dron? Are you talking about just swapping them? I've already done that. I, I've already swapped a bunch of my males and females around. I did that months ago. I moved around the female bears months ago.
For what lakes, uh, Zaki? Most of my females are on the right side of the map. And then like, uh, oh, that's new. That's a new level four. Oh my gosh, another freaking four. Honestly, I could probably shoot one of these fives now. I could probably shoot this five. We'll see. We'll see. We'll think about it. And we got the three there. We will consider popping that five. I just don't want to chase him around. That's the only thing. I don't want to chase him. Um, I'm assuming Angler is going to be the same. Um, it's probably going to be the same price on console as it is on PC, which is like $29.99. Oh, yeah, of course, A-Rod, of course. I do believe so. Four. Should have two more fours here somewhere. Like on that side. Four. Four. Yes, yeah, so we got three fours here. That's it. And... This lake's just a level one. We need to check this one. Yes, this is Silver Ridge Peaks. Uh, Angler is a very demanding game for sure, Teddy. It is definitely a very demanding game. Yeah, like on the left side of the map, this is where all my females are, is just this like... But I, I have had males here in the past and they were not consistent. I did get males here in the past and they just were sadly not consistent. It is what it is, but yeah, it kind of sucks. Same with like right here. This lake has a lot of females. But that was again a lake that wasn't super consistent. We could check the lower lake though. Oh no, what happened, Lone Wolf? What what happened? You swapped all the females over for males that might work good. Yeah, the problem is, like, most of my map is managed down already, so I'd have to shoot some fours or something. I could maybe try it, but it's like... I'd be risking messing up the consistency I've already got between those two lakes. Oh, the mission's got you. Yeah, the photo challenge ones, you have to get, like, in the perfect spot for it to work, usually. It can be pretty rough, for sure. Definitely can be pretty rough. Dude, freaking mountain lions! Ah! You hate to see it, man. Mountain lions always ruining everything. I'm curious, why did the mountain lions uh, get in the way of the bears at this lake, but not the others? Like, I just noticed that. Like, this lake, every time I go here, mountain lions spook off any bears that would have been here. But, like, I go to the other parts of the map, and it's not the case. This lake's just really weird with the uh, mountain lions. I don't see anything else anyway, but we're going to check the tracks to make sure, uh, make sure we're not missing a male. Yeah, it's always the freaking mountain lions, man. It's always the mountain lions. They are the bane of my existence. I'm pretty sure we have a level five over here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you. There's two of them. Oh, gosh. Disgusting. 
Yeah, so I think this is a five, if I'm not mistaken. We probably could shoot him. We probably could. Again, we'll think about it. I've definitely got more fives than I'd like to have, and I think in the long run I should shoot some of them down again. It's just, you know, finding where they've gone is really annoying. And I've already got decent HM going, so I, I don't know if I want to add more into it. We could maybe try it, though. Oh, definitely, Caitlin. Those are the worst. You know, it's funny, like, when you when you do the, the fallow grind, like, having a solo is the worst thing. Like, it is the worst trying to manage down solos, but then you go to bear hunting and every bear is a solo. So it feels, like, completely different. Like, in fallow, the solos are... Oh, level 9. In, in fallow deer, like, the solos are the most annoying thing you could encounter, but with bears, they're all solos. I'm probably hitting trees with all those, but it's worth a shot. We're definitely getting nine super fast now, though. Like, every 10 to 15 kills, it's looking like. Oof. Barely made it, 2284. He barely made diamond. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. And we spooked off that one. Best map for a diamond, still trying to get my first diamond. I would say Emerald Coast, to be honest. Legendary again. <laughs> oh, yes. This is what I'm saying, like, I don't feel like I need to manage the map down anymore. We're getting so many nines now. And I borked that one. Oh, no. I borked him! He's all kinds of messed up. No! Flip flopping bear, tell you what. My gosh. It happens, man. Can't win them all. That looked like it was a decent shot, too. Oh. Did we save it? We could have saved that. Nah. Didn't save it. I don't think. No organs hit. Oh, it was a troll. It was a troll. We're okay. It's a troll. Oh my gosh. It was just a troll. We're okay. It was just a troll. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, that's a relief. I thought we had messed up a diamond, but it was just a troll. Eventually, I would like to check the coast again, see if we got any stragglers that ended up there. Next great one for better be the fabled chestnut. I hope it is, man. That's my dream. Dream is to get the fabled chestnut. We will see if that dream becomes reality. Or if it will just stay a dream forever. Forever and ever. Ha <laughs> ha. What's my least favorite? Um, the, the, like, more pale glacier, like the second glacier bear. The pale glacier just doesn't look that great to me. 
But that's just my opinion, you know. That's just me. Weezy, thank you for the membership. Dude, really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads cha on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you very much. I don't know, Zachy. I think the um, I think the ghost mask, um, glacier is pretty common. That was like the one I saw the most when the black bear or great one first came out. Like everybody was getting the glacier bear. I feel like uh, the ghost mask one is one of the more common ones. With that link right there, Jacob. With the link right there. Chat's been trying to tell you that that's how you uh, can become a member. Oh my gosh. I, I, I guess that other four wasn't this guy. That's our respawn right there. That's our seven. Holy. Holy, dude. So that means that four we found was already there from when I was grinding a couple days ago. I guess I managed it down more than I thought because I had only seen two new fours that had popped up. I guess there was four new fours? Because we found that other four. Jeez. We've got four new fours. And then we've got the other ones that we're still rotating on as well. Man. No wonder the dimes are popping like crazy. We've literally got this map like super managed now. Like super, super managed. To the point where I could maybe even start shooting a couple of the fives. Like a couple of the fives that I had stacked, I could totally shoot them now. Question is, do I want to chase them around the map? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, definitely, Zachy. I shoot the fives. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Mythical. There's the five we spooked. Beautiful. We're now at 1,088 kills on this grind. Didn't kill as many in that first hour as I would have liked, but to be fair, we haven't been main menuing or anything. We've been kind of like rotating around the map a bit more. Nothing else here. Yeah, hopefully, Caitlin. Let's hope it's a quick grind. I'm tired of the long bear grinds, man. I just want a quick bear grind for once. It's crazy that our first grind was so long, it feels like that was multiple grinds. Level five there. What level am I? Uh, max level, level 60. Hard shot? Might have been. Might have been a hard shot, but I think it was probably double lung. Oof. That was left lung, liver, stomach, right lung. Oh my gosh. Talk about decimating a bear. If you guys are thinking we kill a couple fives, I think so too. Let's do it. 
Let's kill this five that's over here, and then there's a five at a lake a couple above. No, we're not uh we're not rotating on one bear anymore. We're rotating on like five of them. Merle, thank you for the four months. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Cause like I know for a fact shooting the fives over here isn't gonna mess up my flow in my grind. Like, it's not going to make those bears that I've been hunting spawn in, like, other places, which is, like, my biggest fear is that my consistent lakes will stop being consistent. I know this won't hurt that, because this guy's so far away from those areas. But, like, there's a level 5 that's right here. I'm not going to shoot him, I don't think, because I'd be afraid that these bears would have an opening to go over there then. Because, like, they've been super consistent. I don't want to shoot any fives that are in, like, this general area. I might shoot the five up here, though. I think that'll be okay. We'll see. We shall see. I'm also probably going to need to rotate some tents around a little bit. At almost 3k and my fallow just started not getting respawns, could it mean something big? Maybe. I mean, you never know. I have had a lot of grinds where, like, the spawns started acting weird right before my great one showed. So it's possible. Um, I wouldn't- it's definitely not guaranteed, though, so... Don't go into it thinking that it's guaranteed, because it definitely... Definitely could mean nothing. But, you know, there's a chance that it does mean something. Yeah, Astro, I'm feeling great. Got a lot of big fours close to my Great One Moose. Nice zombie. Yeah, I didn't get... I don't really ever get, like, an increase of, like, big fours. Um, I do notice that a lot of times I will get a Great One after a hot streak of, like, a lot of diamonds showing up. But I feel like uh, every once in a while you go through streaks where your map's just giving you better stuff. That's kind of my theory, at least. I think there's definitely time frames where, like, you'll see more good stuff popping up. I've definitely noticed it. Haven't had a 9 in, like, 230 kills? Oh, man. Man, Zach, yeah, that's wild. That's wild. Oh, there's a 6 here. What the... That six was not here before. I think that's the one, the seven that we shot last run. Um, where's the five? Here's the five. Nice. We got two of them down. Does HM affect the shape of the antlers? No, it doesn't affect the shape of them. Uh, True Rax does that. It's completely separate from it. HM and true racks are different things, you know, like herd management just gives you more large males. True racks decides the shape of the antlers randomly whenever it spawns. Nice, Owen. Nice, nice. Love to see it, man. Oh, no. Oh, you didn't say you just got one. Never mind. I've, I didn't read the entire message. When I got my great one, Red Deer, I got two piebald level sevens to run before it spawned. Yeah, I definitely feel like it's a common thing where you get a lot of trophies leading up to a great one. It's almost like the map just goes into, like, a, like, brief period of giving lots of trophies. And I've noticed that a lot of the time for different grinds, like, diamonds and stuff come and go in waves. Like, I'll get waves where I'll get a bunch more diamonds than normal. And then I'll get some where I have, like, dry streaks with nothing... Definitely seems to be a pretty common thing.
Yeah, Astro, just uh, keep multiple grinds or like goals. Keep multiple goals throughout your grind so there's always something you're looking for aside from great ones. Like whether it's a big albino or like a super rare or maybe you're trying to like get one of every rare. Like have other goals aside from the great one. It keeps you more interested. And if you really want to go like the next step into keeping it interesting, like start up a YouTube channel or start streaming on Twitch and document your grind. That can really help keep the interest up as well because then you're sharing it with other people. So you're not you're no longer grinding for just yourself, but you're grinding for other people's uh, viewing pleasure as well. That helps out a lot. In fact, I think that's the biggest factor into keeping me interested on grinds is like, I've got you guys to chat with the whole time. And even back when I first started and I only had like five viewers, it still really helped out with keeping me interested because I had people to chat with while I was grinding. One non-great one trophy of my choice, what would I pick? Diamond Mill or Red Deer. I, I have to. I mean, I've wanted it for so long. Though, actually, no, 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 I take that back. We do have a new favorite super rare in town that I would love to get. I would pick a diamond leucistic rusadir. Literally the most beautiful leucistic in the game, in my opinion. They are just stunning, man. Stunning. Level seven, level eight. You know that that's great. I tried. On a whitetail grind, no diamonds. Yep, but lots of ones. Nice, Smokey Boy. It's good to get all those ones going. Uh, consistency and always improving your quality inside out. I posted a video. Hold on, let me shoot that bear. When I started out, I posted a video every single day and streamed every single day. And I've been doing that for three years now. I rarely go a day without posting some type of content. Consistency and always trying to improve are like the biggest things in making a successful YouTube channel. Like, you have to... Put effort and time into making good looking thumbnails. You gotta put time into editing the videos and making sure that the quality's good. You gotta have something that stands out from the other people or else people won't watch. It's just as simple as that. And like, you know, one one thing for me that's always been a big focus is just, you know, constantly improving like uh, my PC to provide better viewing experiences with higher quality recordings, improving my microphone whenever I could, like Little things like that go a long way in uh, providing a better viewing experience. So that's like the big things for me. Like make sure you're always improving your quality and be consistent. Yeah, poor CJO. <laughs> poor CJO with his uh with his PC. It's fine though. We made we made enough fun of him in that video. <laughs> CJO is great though. CJO the homie. Now let's double back and check all of these. What is the whole purpose of HM for Whitetail? I mean, same with everything. Get more diamonds which equals more chances at super rares and potentially get more great ones. Cause like the more that we see it definitely seems like there's a pretty good chance that great ones get affected by it, at least on some species. So there's many benefits to doing herd management. Oh, the process of HM. I thought that was a typo for purpose. The process of doing it? Well, first of all, obviously you gotta manage down all of your zones, so... 
as you're finding whitetail zones, shoot all of the level twos you find, all the threes you find, um, unless the level three shows up in a good zone that you want to keep as your main, then you could, that's a mythical, then you could kill it if you wanted to, or then you could leave it if you wanted to. Yeah, you know, I'll just take stacking out of the equation to simplify it a little bit more, because I know the stacking thing gets confusing. Oh, that was awful shooting. That was awful. Uh, we're going to go claim that in a second. I got to check to see if there's anything up here. Because the second I fast travel away from this spot, it's going to spook anything up at this top lake. Okay, now, as I was saying... Find all your whitetail zones as you're finding them. Be sure to be shooting any twos and threes you find. Whenever you get a one, leave it. You should have between like 65 and 75 whitetail zones. And the goal is to get like 75% of the bucks between those zones to be a level one. With some species, it may be more difficult than with others to like know when you're at that sweet spot of 70 plus um, low levels. But with whitetail, it's one of the easier species to know that. Um, I've heard of one person getting it, A-Rod, but I never saw a screenshot, so I don't know. I, I'd say as of now, there's been no confirmed level 8 diamond black bear. There's been a couple for red deer, but like the screenshots were either in a different language or pixelated, and so I couldn't fully tell if it was legitimate, just due to my own like limitations there in terms of like language bar barriers, because I don't really speak anything aside from English, so it's hard to say. A lot of people are uh, questioning whether or not those like level 8 red deer screenshots were legitimate or not, but as far as I know, aside from water buffalo, red deer are the only thing I've seen actual screenshots of mythical diamonds. I don't think so, A-Rod. I don't think it works like that, but I could be wrong. Because I think the level is tied to the score. Or like, um, tied to the weight more, I should say. I think it's tied to the weight. Oh, a three. We got a freaking three. Are you kidding me? We got a three. Oh no. A freaking three! I think at some point I might, uh, stack a bunch of nines in our main zones here. Like, try to get five level nines at uh, these two lakes and then just go through and try to manage down like some of those fives from other lakes and stuff we're gonna leave that three for a couple run zones see how it affects our uh, HM yeah sounds about right lone wolf I had trouble with Larry as well like when I was catching big Larry on angler um first time I went for him he ended up spooling me completely second time going for him I changed the reel so I could hold more line and changed the line to braid so that it was thinner and then I was able to actually land him but like you need at least the mission rod and reel to get Larry effectively Anything good so far? Yeah, we got a few diamonds on the day. No new males there. A big Larry with my bare hands wow wow that's just 
That's a, that's a stretch, A-Rod, but, you know, I'll give it to you. It's a stretch, but I'll give it to you. <laughs> but that, that one was a stretch. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Just did two hours of swapping males with females working... Second so far, I think I did most of them, but not all of them yet. Nice, nice. Love to see it. What does diamond stacking do? Uh, it just helps you get low levels faster. And then once you've got like all the low levels that you want for your herd management, then you can kill all the uh, diamonds. Uh, that's the only purpose of stacking diamonds is just to get low levels faster and to get a little bit more of them than you could if you weren't stacking. Okay, still just those female bears there. What was my diamond average for whitetail? Uh, I was like every 30 kills, I think. I think it was every 30 kills. If I'm not mistaken. Nothing there. I will need to change around some tents eventually because... I need to be checking like some other angles here. I haven't had a bear down there in ages. I don't think I'll keep this tent here. I think we'll move it. Watch there be one here now. Nope. Just the female. What is that? <laughs> uh... What's going on here, huh? Interesting little bug. Wait, really, Lone Wolf? That's crazy, man. It definitely should not take that long. That's, uh, that's pretty wild. I don't think I've ever heard of it taking that long. That's, uh, that's crazy, dude. That is crazy. It's a zip line? <laughs> Something like that. Sure looks like it. I might prefer to get a different fur type uh, bread, but I mean... I'll take any Great One Bear. I don't care what it is. Also, we're going to set the time to 22. Ibai was saying that that's been a pretty good time for him, so... I'm going to see if I can get some good consistency going by setting it to 22. We shall see if it works out better. Like, for the longest time, I've been doing 22.30 or 23. Oddly enough, I felt like 23 was better than 22.30. Okay, the four from the other lake is here now. Let's kill this four now that we got that three here. Because I don't want to sacrifice two respawns from this uh, area. So since we have that three, let's just go ahead and kill all of these. <laughs> he died right in the tent. Let's go. Yeah, that's the tracks from the three there, I think. Definitely. All these dead bears everywhere. Man, the bear grind gives so much money. Sean, thank you for the super chat. Dude, is eight zones for a fallow grind good? Like as your final zones? Are you talking about like for your final grinding zones? Or are you talking about like your entire map? Uh, cause your entire map, you should have at least 35 zones for fallow. It seems like 35 to 47 is what I see people getting. Um, but if you're talking about for like final grinding zones, then yeah, that's fine. As long as like after you've managed things down, as long as you are killing anywhere from 
Let's see, probably... As long as you're killing between, like, 9 and 15 fallow, then you're fine. Yeah, your final grinding zone's got you, yeah. So as long as you're getting between 9 and 15 kills, then, yeah, that's perfectly fine. As long as you can get at least in that number, then you're good to go. Because, yeah, it's not necessarily about how many zones. It's about how many males you're killing between those zones. Mythical again. This guy keeps coming back as a mythical. Love to see it, bro. Love to see it. Yeah, no problem, man. Always happy to help. Where did this bear go? Right there. There he is. Nah, lemons. We're killing like seven bears now. Might be eight, actually. We're killing seven or eight of them. What are all of the great ones for Call of the Wild? Ah, uh, we got Whitetail, Red Deer, Black Bear. Um, fallow deer and moose. Seven days better than five. It definitely is. We'll see if that helps us out. I think it will. That's our four. Nothing else there. You have to link your Discord to YouTube in the Discord settings, Lemons. Go to connections in the settings tab and it'll explain the rest. I don't assign the roles in Discord. Uh, Discord does that automatically when you link your YouTube. I've got this little stand up here that I can check across right here and not have the brush in the way. I'm going to need to put a tent over here because they can spawn here, so I'd like to be able to just Travel back and forth. We'll see how that works, though. Um, elk are in the game, yes. Uh, if you're talking about an elk great one, no. There is no elk great one yet, but hopefully one day. It's a popular request. I imagine we'll get one someday. I couldn't see them just not adding an elk. Right, like, I feel like they have to eventually add an elk. Definitely a bear right there. Wish I could spot it, man. It doesn't want me to spot it, I guess. Yeah, so you can hunt Roosevelt Elk on Leighton Lakes. There's Roosevelt Elk on Leighton Lakes. There's uh, Rocky Mountain Elk on Silver Ridge. Oh, I was, A-Rod. It wasn't working. There was too much brush. Too much brush in the area. There's the four traveling over there. That is an existing four that's been here. Doing a quick little scan on these. Seeing where they've bounced. Really? Really, Zachy? That's crazy, man. That's crazy.
Yeah, I remember when uh, Call of the Wild first released into the little beta that they did for people that signed up with their email and like randomly got selected. When I got access to that back in the day, like December of 2016, I searched pretty much the entire map, so I found all the species pretty quickly. Because I spent like 30 hours or something in that beta just looking around for everything, trying to hunt everything. Nice. Soup, that's awesome, dude. Hey, Thunder. Uh, yeah, Jake, how about whitetail deer? How about whitetail? There's the three. Oh, I didn't see you in time. Oh, we killed- we got him. I think we killed him. That's insane if we actually killed him there. But I think we did. I think we actually pulled that shot off. Hey, Double B. Not too much, man. Just smoking some bears. We did. Oh my gosh, we spined him. Holy crap, dude. There's also another bear over here that we didn't see. Ah, mid-sized male. Because of that, there shouldn't be any at the other zone, but just in case one of the respawns from here went over here, we'll go check anyway. What's my dream great one bear fur type? The fabled chestnut. I really badly want to get a fabled chestnut bear. They're just so pretty. They just look so freaking good. Nice, Miguel. That's awesome. Congrats, dude. There is another. And it's a four. I don't need fours here. I need fours showing up at the uh, other lakes, please. Come on. Call the wild. No. No, no, no. You wouldn't do this to me. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Tanika. That's really nice. You appreciate it. You got a cinnamon bear the same day? Nice. Love to see it. Let's do something different. Let's check this lake. I haven't been there in ages, man. Oh, yeah, I could imagine, Zacky. It can be rough for sure. Nice, Mo. That's awesome. That is awesome, man. Congrats on your great one, Fallow. Love to see it. Level one. I don't think I had any males that were going here, so we should be good. Oh. <laughs> oh, we took a swim. It's okay though. It's it's okay, man. Just a little little bit of water. Never hurt anybody. Actually, that's a lie. Water has hurt people. Not in Call of the Wild, though. It doesn't hurt anybody. I wonder. Have some gone up here? They could have, I guess. Though maybe not. I feel like the ones you shoot down here, like, only go into this area, I've noticed. Like, it seems like they only respawn in this region. So I'm sure we probably got more bears over here that we're just missing. When should I start shooting my fives on my Great One Fallow Grind using HM? Uh, whenever your map is managed down, like whenever all the, uh, 
zones that you don't want as your main zones. Whenever those are managed down, then you can go ahead and shoot all the stacked ones. That ATV has tricked me two runs in a row. <laughs> oh, man. Do bears respawn on a nearby lake to where you shot them, or is they randomly across the entire map? It seems to be nearby where you shot them, from what I can tell. Obviously, there's no way to 100% verify that, but that's how it seems. It definitely seems like they do it that way. Uh, let's main menu, actually. It's been a bit since we've done that. Choose your next grind after the red deer. How about moose, A-Rod? Eh, How about some moose? Love me some mooseies. Yeah, like, usually it's about in the same area, Ronnie, so... Like, for example, I've noticed that the bears that I shoot at, like, the lakes here, they pretty much only come back to the lakes in this area. In fact, they don't even go down here, I've noticed. They just kind of go, like, between all of these. Now, could I be missing, like, a bear or two in other places? Yeah, I could be missing a couple, but... It seems like, in general, they come back in roughly the same area. Quick little check skadoodle on these. How many kills in? 1,107. That's the four. Yeah, the turkey was like, hey, man. Just flying by. Don't shoot me. Check all these. He was stacking an HM. Got my map managed down. After that, I was getting a diamond every 10 to 20 kills. After about 400 kills, I stopped getting dimes and only three and fours. A dime every 100. Um, that is strange, K Dog. That shouldn't happen. I mean, you could just be on a really bad dry streak. Those do happen from time to time, but uh, usually not quite to that extent. I hope not, Mo. I will. I will be sad if that happens, man. I will be so sad if that happens. Fallow on New Zealand or Moose on Rev or Medved? How about Fallow on New Zealand? That sounds like a, a good one to me. Nice, Chandler. Uh, maybe, A-Rod. Maybe. It's possible. Plop that down right there. And toss up a tripod. That's not a tripod. There's the tripod. And doggo, stop it. Thank you. Okay, yep, we can see that zone from here. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, back over here we go.
Gotcha, A Rod. Gotcha. Yeah, Yukon's not a bad map. I think it's a pr one of the prettiest maps in the game, right? But I do think it's lacking in species a little bit. That's my only concern. Or not concern, but that's my only gripe with Yukon. Is it could use a couple more species like Doll Sheep and Sitka Deer. Sitka Black Tail Deer. I think that would make it perfect. There we go, three more down. Yeah, elk could work there for sure. That that could definitely work. That'd be cool. Good luck trying to get New England like that, Zachy. Mississippi, I could see that working. Because the bears are a bit more condensed on Mississippi. New England would be a tall task, though. Like a super tall task. Oh, no, Schrader. That's not good, man. Well, I hope you get better soon. Hopefully, it'll heal nicely. What the f Oh my gosh, all the bear respawns are at this lake now! Oh my gosh, literally all the bears that we were just killing on the other side of the map are here! What? Three here and I just claimed three at the other lake. Seven bears between our main zones now. Oh my gosh, did they all just move over here? Oh, that is huge! Maybe I was wrong, maybe they can move across the entire map. Holy, I have not seen that before. Like, we've had like one or two bears swap from a different zone to over here, but never this many. This is insanity. I just killed six bears between our two main lakes, and I didn't even shoot a level three that was there. Are they literally all over here? There's another! What the? Eight bears between these two lakes. All the respawns came to the same area. You gotta be joking. That's insane. Please let them stay here, man. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine if I get them to stay here? And we could just rotate amongst eight bears in my main two lakes? Oh, please. Please let me... Please let that be the case. Please, 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 please. Oh my God. Holy, dude. That's insanity. Absolute insanity. Sky, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. There's the level six. Last one's over here, it looks like, right? Where is the last one? Where is the blood? Any tips for HMing Moose on Medved? Um, tips are going to be about the same as HMing Moose anywhere. Um, leave the twos, leave the threes that look like twos, leave all the ones. Um, Moose on Medved are going to move around a lot. So you're going to have to check every body of water pretty consistently um, to get any type of like consistent uh, respawns and stuff going. You're going to have to be checking a lot of the map. Thank you once again for the uh, super chat though. Anything special yet? Yeah, we've got three diamonds on the day. Three of them. And we just somehow got all of the respawns that we shot over in these lakes to go over to these two. So that's pretty insane. Oh gosh, never. Never, Zaki, never. That's one grind I will not do. New England moose sounds terrible. <laughs> sounds terrible. If I buy says that it sucked, then you know for a fact that it sucks.
Just reached into a box of rainbow goldfish, grabbed only yellow somehow. That That is hilarious. Yeah, I by said that New England was terrible to grind for moose. I by said that like managing that map sucked so much and that it was terrible finding all the 200 zones and stuff. And I have to agree. Okay, we got two bears here. Our level three is not in its zone though. Yeah, 200, A-Rod. Uh, New England has 200 zones for moose. Pretty absurd, right? Like, that's just... That should never be a thing. You have 182? Jeez. That's still too much, you know? That's still too much for any map. Layton only has like 100, maybe 110. I think I've got like 110 moose zones. Which, you know, that's still a lot of zones, but it's way more manageable. Well, it doesn't look like, uh, doesn't look like all of them came back to the same place again. I mean, it could just be that some of them have not arrived yet, but it kind of looks like we're not going to get that lucky. How many does Yukon have? I think it's close to 200. I think Yukon has close to 200 as well. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's just as bad as New England in terms of zones. When was the last uh, brown and blonde bear? We got a brown right before we got our super rare the other day. But it hasn't been too long since we got a uh, brown fur type black bear. It has not been too long of a time, thankfully. Didn't even know it was a brown till we picked it up either. Because they look so much like a dusky. That's good, Schrader. That's good. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Never mind. I, I read that wrong. I thought you were talking about, like, having managed down solo zones. Uh, yeah, if, if most of your New England is solo, that's rough. That's rough, man. That's rough. It is what it is, though. Lots of solos with the moose. <laughs> Enhanced Dusky, literally. Literally, man. They look so similar. To the point where you sometimes can barely even tell the difference. Outdoor boy, thank you so much for the super chat. Bear ground on Mississippi. I don't know if I'll do a bear ground on Mississippi. Uh, it's a possibility at some point, but um, it's not going to be anytime super soon. I still got this Silver Ridge Peaks grind going. I still need to seal the deal on at least one more great one here. I think that's probably the four. I think that call is probably from the four spooking off. Yep, from our four for sure. Will any of this uh, stream make it into a video? Only if we get a trophy that is video worthy. 
Like, I have to have something that is worth, like, making a video on. So, like, if we get a great one or a super rare or something like that, then it's likely it'll go into a video. But, like, I've already got so many different videos on the channel of, like, rare bears and diamond bears that uh, if we just get diamonds and, like, small rares, probably won't go into a video. Though any rares we get will likely go in YouTube shorts. Ah, uh, maybe JC. That could be interesting. That could be kind of cool. Uh, we actually did grind um, Whitetail on New England for a little bit, but it got really slow really quick. Like, the respawns were just not consistent at all. New England's unfortunately just not a good grinding map for anything. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Got a big wreck level 4 moose on Leighton. I think I have a zone and it's potential. It's not like a quad wreck, but just a big wreck. Got you. Well, hopefully it makes it for you. Hopefully it will make it for you. Average length of a red deer grind. Uh, 2,000 to 3,000 kills. Like somewhere in that range is the average, I would say. So depending on who you ask, you'll probably get different answers. That's just uh, what I think it is. Is it pop possible to have two great ones at the same time on the same map? Yes, it is. I've done that before. Um, we've stacked great ones before where essentially like a great one spawned and instead of killing it, we just left it on the map and kept grinding to try and get another. The most I've ever had on the map at once was four whitetail great ones. I've never been able to get more than four on a map though. Like once I got four, like I couldn't get any more to spawn. And I don't think anybody's surpassed four great ones on the map at once. To stack the next bear great one. Maybe if it's a fabled cream, I'll stack it. But other than that, probably won't. If it's another cream, though, we might leave it for a bit just to manage down some more of the map. You know, now that I think of it, we probably should kill this three because I don't want... I don't want um, the threes to be here. I kind of want to try and manage down like the other spots, you know? So, like, if we have a three here, that's hurting our chances of getting threes in other places. Gotcha, Zaki. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oh, a floater! Oh, you disgusting little bear. Wow. He's floating, man. That is just so uncalled for. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. There we go. Now let's go check these again. Could you imagine the three comes back as a 10? That would be crazy, man. That would be wild. Nothing there again. Ah, uh, you can find it on the channel, uh, Fabs. Just type in Great One Whitetail Scarecrow. It'll definitely pop up. Good, at least.
Don't think there's anything there. Where did all of our respawns go from that area? <laughs> yeah, like all the respawns from over here just disappeared. I wonder if they went to the surrounding lakes of uh, where we were, where we killed them last. Crazy. Oh, hey. Get styled on. Holy. Poor bear. That's what you get for hiding from me. Now you're dead. Wonder if there's some up here. I don't think there is. I have not seen one go there in a long, long time. Yes, let's get the fabled chain going. Let's summon a great one. Summon the Great One! Will we summon him through the power of emotes? Or will we spot level fours? Probably gonna spot level fours. You know what? It's worth a shot, man. Worth a shot. Maybe one day it will work. Maybe one of these days it'll work. I don't think we're going to get any more bears spawning here. I have not seen anything spawn here in so long. I think this area is like... I think everything that can spawn here has already spawned here. Like, I think we got all the slots for bears filled up here. Certainly seems like that. Now, this, like, definitely could get one because I've had a male show up right over there with that female. I do want to get a tent up here, though. You want the chestnut over the spirit? I do. Yes. Fabled chestnut is my number one most wanted. Then it's the fabled cream, then fabled spirit. Actually, Fabled Spear, then Fabled Cream is what I meant. But yeah, Chestnut's my favorite. After seeing it more, like, I think it was two or three months ago, I, I really started liking it. Started liking it a lot. Nothing up here, eh? Is it possible a male's here? Maybe. I don't know. I think this, like, might have one, though. I think this one might. It did, Caitlin? Oh, gosh. I hope I don't have to shoot seven bears. Or seven great one bears just to get the fabled chestnut. 
That would suck. How many hours do I have for 49 great ones? I've played over 6,000 hours in the game. About 4,000 of those were great one grinding. If I were to estimate. It's hard to know exactly the number. <laughs> yeah, hey, Rod. That's over the course of like... What? Five years? No, six years. That's over the course of like six years. And three of those years being full-time content creator for Call of the Wild, so... It adds up over time, man. It adds up a lot. Yeah, I know there are bears at this, like, dynamic, but I mean, like, new ones. I've already got a bunch of stacked ones here. Like, I've got, um, I think a one or a two. I think I have a two and a three here, and maybe a four, and then a bunch of females. That's what I mean, is, like, I don't know if any more can fit here. I don't know if any more of the males can fit here. That's our four. That's our two. Yeah, I don't know if we can get any more here. There's one of the females. We probably spooked off those females. Yeah, I don't see any more here. Hold up. That's another four. Well, 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 we totally got another four here. That's a new four for sure. Hmm. Okay, okay. That's a new four. That's 100% a new four. We might be moving in the right direction. I'm pretty sure that's a new four. I only had one four there before. That's a lot of fours in one sentence. Holy. Only one four there before. That's a new four. Only had one four there before. <laughs> Gosh. That's a rare. That's a rare bear. Level six. That's a rare. Let's go. Finally a rare. And then a six and a seven over there too. That is definitely a rare bear. It's either cinnamon or cinnamon. Like it's cinnamon, you know? It's okay, cinnamon's the best rare anyway, you know? It's the prettiest rare of them all. Not the rarest of the rares, but the prettiest of the rares in my opinion. Yeah, that's a cinnamon. Look at how pretty they are. I just love them. Cinnamon bears are amazing. Look at this dude. He looking good. Didn't quite make gold though. Ah, oh, feels bad. Didn't quite make it, man. Almost a gold rare, but not quite. That is our sixth rare in 1125 kills. This grind's been really good for rares and that's super rare, of course. Okay, so there was just one more track, and that was a seven, I believe. So there should be one to two bears over here. Yeah, Schrader, for sure. 
They used to be about the same as like any other bear. And then when they made them rare, like they just made like all of the variations rare. Another rare. I gonna lie, it kind of looks like it might be another rare. If it is, we messed it up, but only a five, so we'll see. Nah, it's not a rare, unless it's a brown fur type. If it's brown fur type, then that would make sense why it was a little bit brighter looking. Ah, uh, yeah, Dusky. <laughs> Freaking Dusky, man. They always trick us. These Duskies, dude. These Duskies. Uh, I don't think a, a live stream with Rooster, Flinter, and Lady would be possible, uh, Tanika. I don't think it's possible. That's just too many people in one voice call. Too many people in one voice call and, like, I don't even know how much they all have, like, talked to each other. So, it would just be really tough to arrange. Always the Duskies, I know, right? Always the Duskies. Too many time zones, too. Yeah, it'd be tough to, like, get a perfect time for it. Because, I mean, Rooster's in Germany right now, I'm pretty sure, right? He's, like, 10 hours ahead of me. Blender is, like, 3 hours ahead of me. I think Lady is, like, 3 hours ahead as well. Like, yeah, it would just be tough to get a perfect time for that. And it's a lot of people in one call. One-on-one -on -one collabs are a lot easier to do than, uh, three or four person collabs. I'm gonna say the call came from over here. Where are you? There he is. There he is. We're definitely on a little dry streak. We haven't had a nine in probably like 40 kills. Hopefully, we can get them popping up again. Yes, I've done one collab with Didi a long time ago. It was back around the release of Tiaboroa. A little bit after it released, I believe. I think there was one more set of tracks over at that second spot that we just shot the second bear at, right? Huh. Maybe not. Unless it just isn't there yet. I swear I saw two sets of, sets of tracks there. Can't get a Mela. All I get is albinos. Just want one Mela. Yeah, that that happens, man. Like, that's what happened with my red deer. Like, I couldn't get a Mela for the life of me. I kept getting tons of piebalds and albinos, but just could not get a Mela. And eventually, I ended up getting one. It just took a while. Sometimes things just take time.
how to get Nightbot in your streams. To be honest, I did that so long ago, I don't fully remember the process, but they explain it on their website, so... If you go to their website, it should explain it. Or you can just Google, like, how to set up Nightbot. I'm 25, Ultra. 25. What great one do I want? I'd love a fabled chestnut. That would be amazing. Yes, Knight, or, uh, Nate. Nightbot is exactly what it says. It's a bot. It's like a moderator bot to help moderate the channel, right? Nightbot's been a thing for, like, like, what, 10 years? Probably even more. I think Nightbot's been around a long time since, like, the beginning of, like, Twitch and things. Pretty much everybody uses it. Yeah, definitely does, Caitlin. Definitely does, because Nightbot helps take care of, like, the basic questions and, like, basic, um, rules and stuff. No, Hargy, it's free. Yes, I do hunt IRL. It's been probably five or six years, though. I think it's been like six years. I'm pretty sure I was like 18 or 19. I think I was like 19. But yeah, it's been six or seven, actually. Nightbot is clearly a banana. You know, you may be correct. Banana bot. Got a diamond red deer. Nice coaster. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. What's my favorite great one? My favorite great one is the moose. Moose great one is just so beautiful. Absolutely love it. Legendary, let's go. Finally another legendary. Okay, it's in a bad spot. I'm not gonna be able to make that shot. We will shoot him next run. While there's a legendary on the map, we might as well try to shoot down a couple of the other lakes if we can get them. Hey, there's at least two other bears here that were not showing their faces. That's another big boy bear. That's another big boy track right there. Could potentially be a good one. You never know. Go check these zones. Feels bad, Can. How many lakes do I hunt for black bear? I have two main lakes, and then I've got, like, three or four secondary lakes that I check for, like, a remaining three respawns. Three or so.
Shoot it in the liver? <laughs> I mean, I could, but like, I don't want to mess it up. It's still a uh, potential diamond, you know? Even if I've already got a bunch of them, I still try to make a good shot on all of them. Yeah, that's Plains Bison. It's a bison poo. Imagine if Great Ones could troll. Yeah, that would suck. That, that would suck a lot, man. That would be one troll where I would not like it being in the game. I'm glad the Great Ones can't troll. After all the time you spend searching for them, they shouldn't be able to troll. I'm glad that they don't. Like, diamonds are a bit easier to find than, like, a Great one, so... I can see why the diamonds do, right? That's one of the threes I've got stacked here. My gosh, A-Rod. Uh, depends, Caden. Just like every once in a while. It doesn't have to be super often. Uh, yes, I have messed up a great one. In fact, right before the great one Fallow was released, I spine shot a whitetail by accident. Nice, Austin, nice. Oh, also, guys, be sure to uh, double check in the Discord to make sure you've accepted your roles. I see so many people forget to accept their roles and can't see the channels because of it. I also added a brand new role today, as well as a couple new channels for the Angler. So, if you want to see the Angler channels, be sure to accept the new Angler role. Hello! What's up, little pronghorn? All right, for a little bit, let's plop this uh, tent right here so we can check this. Okay, so we've hit our limit of tents on the map. Now that's a lot of pronghorn. Oh, yeah. Tons of pronghorn. Tons and tons of pronghorn, man. After the latest update, all of my tents and tripods were put back into storage and my red deer and my moose grind were ruined. Oh no, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks, man. That really sucks. Alright, seven, six. Nice, Double B. That's awesome, dude. That is pretty sick, man. That sounds like it would be a lot of fun. Uh, that's all you do, uh, Kraken. That's all you do. Just, you know, react to each of the roles that you want with the emoji that it states to react with. And uh, that's it. It'll open up the Discord channels for you to view.
that's all there is to it. You should have them now. How did you not insta die? Come on. Come on, man. That's wild, Ronnie. Um, if you're not doing herd management, though, that's about pretty normal for bears. Like, 300 kills without a diamond is very normal without herd management. Bears are just really freaking weird. There was another bear here. Not a great one track, though. How many great ones do I have? A total of 49. Gotcha, Ronnie, gotcha. Yeah, it, it'll be a while before you start seeing a lot of diamonds show up. Took me a while with uh, bears. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to head over here. And I think we're going to take our uh, little break in the middle of the stream. We've been going for almost three hours now, so I'm going to take a quick dinner break. Uh, should be back in like 25 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes, somewhere in that range. Could be 30, could be 30, between 20 and 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do is reset this to the very beginning of bear time and just let it run through the whole time while we're sitting at this lake and see if anything, um, see if anything cool shows up or any bears in general. <laughs> I just want to see if we get bears here or not. Because I'm wondering if some of them are just so delayed they're not showing up. Um, re reset the stream, Lone Wolf. It's a, it's a YouTube issue. That's a YouTube issue. So just refresh it and it should be fine. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys back in like 25 minutes.
Okay, so I'm back a little early. I think we're going to go ahead and just end the stream here. Because I just realized I don't have a video ready for tomorrow or the day after. And I should probably get something done. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and end this. Otherwise, you guys would be video list for the next two days. So, thank you all for being here. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace!